The city of Yuma has a case with a homeowner on 33rd Lane after he built two seven-foot-tall fences in his front yard over the city limit. Good evening. Thank you so much for choosing to join us. I'm Scott Gross. Now the neighbors and city are planning for a public hearing to decide if the fence can stay. News 11's Danielle Burke North has more on the story. The homeowner submitted a variance to appeal the city request and increase the allowable fence height in their front yard from 30 inches to 7 feet. But neighbors are upset and the city is taking action. I don't like it and I think it needs to can be just like everything else in the neighborhood. The city said it went out to do an investigation after an anonymous phone call about the homeowner building the first fence above the city limit. We found that it was about eight and a half feet tall, but it was 10 foot back set off the front property line. The homeowner complied and removed a portion after the city asked him to lower the first fence. But during that course of that action, he elected to install a seven foot high fence on the very front property line. Thus, we had to uh, actually start a code enforcement case on the front fence and currently it's in the uh, appeals process. The city shared the safety concerns the fence could cause. In this subdivision, they're limited to 30 inches. The reason for that is visibility. So when somebody's pulling out of their property, they need to be able to see down the street. An offense taller than 30 inches has been proven to serve as a detriment. So kind of for a visual, so this fence right here, this is like the 30 inches that people can go. But the, not the 30 inches, yeah. But that, the, that's, all, that's all you can go for like 10 feet back or something. And then after that, we can build to the size you want. The city held a neighborhood meeting last week where neighbors voiced their concerns. We notify property owners within 300 feet of this request to give them the opportunity to ask questions, provide input to the property owner. I visited the neighborhood where many neighbors gathered to voice their opposition. It does not fit in with the neighborhood and is causing issues with renters staying their full time. Why, do, why does it bother you? Well, it messes up the neighborhood and it makes the value of the neighborhood go down. Some neighbors going as far to sign a petition to send to the city. But still, other neighbors don't see any issue. When I look out my door, I live right across the street, it makes me feel happy to see the yellow color. The, the wall doesn't bother me, you know, and I don't know why everybody got so upset about it. I mean, he, he owns a property, you should be able to do what you want on the property. The city is holding a public hearing May 9th at the city chambers to hear comments and make a final decision on if the homeowner will be able to keep their fence height or have to lower it. Reporting in Yuma, Danielle Burke North, News 11.